Hey, what's going on, guys? So I just put together a rookie watch list for week one of the NFL season. I'm going to share it with you real quickly. I want to point out, I didn't include any quarterbacks because that's kind of obvious to me. Of course, you want to see Trevor Lawrence, the number one overall pick, versus a bad Houston Texans defense. You want to see Matt Jones versus a good Miami Dolphins secondary. You want to see what Zach uh, Wilson looks like against J.C. Horn and Brian Burns in the front and all that stuff. And I understand that. I do. Elijah Vera Tucker versus a developing Carolina defensive line. But the matches we really want to focus on are some other ones. Quiddy Pay, for instance, from the Indianapolis Colts is going to face Brandon Shell and Dwayne Brown on the Seattle Seahawks offensive line. Now, against Brandon Shell, it's a much more even match. Obviously, Dwayne Brown's one of the best tackles in the NFL, one of the best tackles from the past decade. So that could be interesting to see. I hope they get a couple of reps against each other, at least. We can see a little bit of that. But I'm not exactly sure where Pay's going to line up on the right side or left side. So we'll see how that plays out. I think that could be a fun matchup to watch. Uh, Devonta Smith versus AJ Terrell and, Fa and Fabian Monroe for the Atlanta Falcons could be interesting. AJ Terrell, obviously a former first round pick from the Clemson Tigers. Devonta Smith, a standout and Heisman winner for the Alabama Crimson Tide. It's a little bit of a college rivalry there. Terrell was okay last year, but not fantastic. And I'm very interested to see how Philadelphia utilizes Smith in the current office of the run with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. A big one, this is probably the most underrated one of the weekend. Uh, Ray Sean Slater. The Los Angeles Chargers, their left tackle versus Chase Young and Montez Sweat. That's going to be, it's going to be brutal. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be tough for them to pull that one off just because of how good and how ridiculous good, ridiculously good we project uh, Montez Sweat and Chase Young to be for this season. Chase Young is a guy who people are voting on potentially to be a defensive player of the year winner this year. So there's a lot to go into this one. But Slater coming off as a highly touted prospect who played all over the line at Northwestern. Actually won a couple of reps against Chase Young in college, not this past year, but the year before that. It'll be very interesting to see how this plays out. And again, Slater's a guy who has not played in a meaningful competitive game since 2019 because he sat out the 2020 season. So we'll see how quickly he's able to adjust and get back to playing at an elite level. Dan Moore Jr., a guy people did not expect to start a couple of weeks ago, but is being forced into the starting lineup for the Pittsburgh Steelers because of injuries. Big shocker there. Dan Moore Jr. coming in now, and he's going to be the left tackle today against the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo will have probably Jerry Hughes and Gregory Rousseau matched up against him. Jerry Hughes has been playing fewer snaps for Buffalo over the past couple of years. I've started working guys like AJ Epinesa and Mario Addison into the lineup. I'm not sure how many snaps will be Jerry Hughes or Mario Addison versus Dan Moore Jr. I'm more interested in how AJ Epinesa and Gregory Rousseau or maybe even Carlos Basham will handle playing against Dan Moore Jr. Because that would be obviously rookie and rookie action. If Pittsburgh got Dan Moore Jr. here and he plays at a starting caliber level, that's an absolute steal for where they got him in the draft. More than likely, though, he's going to get, he's going to have a rough day against Jerry Hughes, against someone of his caliber, one of the better edge rushers in the NFL when healthy. And of course, guys like Gregory Rousseau, who just have atomic length, they can basically bump, <laughs> just stiff arm guys out of oblivion and just push them back into the quarterback. Another matchup I want to keep an eye on Jamar Chase for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's had a lot of jobs recently, in the, especially in the postseason. I want to watch him versus Patrick Peterson. I'm hoping those two are going to line up against each other in the Cincinnati versus Minnesota game because Patrick Peterson, guys, some people are projecting to have a rebound year after being pretty bad this past season in Arizona. He's really kind of fallen off, but he's only 31 years old, I believe. So relatively young, a future Hall of Fame corner versus a guy in Jamar Chase who's been one of the best wide receiver prospects in recent history. That's a matchup I want to keep an eye on. This is another one where players don't go head-to-head -head as much, but Zayvon Collins versus Derrick Henry. I understand, again, it's not going head-to-head -head necessarily, but Zayvon Collins is an elite uh, versatile linebacker. I was, a little more, I was a little higher on than some people in this past draft, but Collins is a big physical player. I want to see how he matches against Derrick Henry, who is the peak of physicality right now at the running back position in the NFL. And again, that, Falcon, that Cardinals defense line is much improved this year. I want to see how that matches up against the Tennessee's offensive line and Derrick Henry. Collins, of course, playing at the linebacker position. It's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Uh, Gregory Rousseau potentially playing against Tyreek Hill. Not Gregory Rousseau, excuse me. Greg Newsom II potentially playing against Tyreek Hill. Newsom was a great pick for the Cleveland Browns this year. They intend to start him today. So, who could he play against? Well, he could potentially field someone on the lower end, someone who's not going to challenge him as much. Maybe Cornell Powell gets some snaps as a rookie there for them. Uh, there's a bunch of options you can get for Kansas City. That's not Tyreek Hill. And I understand if they try to keep Newsom away from Hill throughout this game. But at some point, he's probably going to line up against Tyreek Hill. I just want to see how he manages the speed and just the, <laughs> the just insane agility of someone like Tyreek Hill. And of course, also McCole Harmon, Demarcus Robinson there. So you're not going to get Tyreek Hill 100% of the time, but I still would love to see that matchup. 
And another big one, I think another highly underrated one that hasn't been talked about enough. Taylor Decker is out for the Detroit Lions for the foreseeable future, meaning Penny Sewell is going to play left tackle, a position he hasn't really played all preseason because he's been playing to play him on the right side. Well, now it's Penny Sewell versus Nick Bosa and Eric Armstead in week one. That's kind of a, a welcome, to your, welcome to the NFL moment for Penny Sewell, a guy who's not looked good up to this point in the preseason because he's been trying to switch from the left tackle to the right tackle, something he did not anticipate having to do during the offseason. So now we got Penny Sewell playing back to his natural position at left tackle, hopefully playing up to his full strength versus Nick Bosa coming off an injury season where was one of the best pass rushers, playing one of the five or six best pass rushers in the NFL during his rookie year, coming off a season mostly lost. He's returning. Eric Armstead's still a very good pass rusher. Uh, maybe not as productive in terms of getting sacks as Nick Bosa, but still a very good defensive end. Those are the rookie matchups I really wanted to highlight. And I, I mentioned a little bit at the beginning kind of as a joke, but Elijah Ver Tucker versus that interior line for Carolina, guys like Derek Brown, and even the edges who might maybe push inside a little bit, guys like Brian Burns. I'd be very interested to see how that plays out as well. So those are my rookies to watch for week one. Thank you all for tuning in. Enjoy the day of football.